Welcome to Dental Business Rx. Practice success in 30 minutes or less. Thank you for calling ABC Dental. We get a lot of questions about websites, specifically what should be on my website, how can I get my website to get me more new patients, and so on. And normally, you know, we're not web designers, but we will help a client as far as pointing them in the right direction. And when we look at a lot of websites for the first time from from prospective clients or new clients, in a lot of cases, it's not really set up in a way to get new patients. It, it's pretty and it says where the doctor went to school, but there's nothing about it that would increase the number of new patients that you're getting in your practice. And the website, especially for, for a dental practice, is an important part of the entire marketing effort. Specifically, it's sort of like home base for any online marketing efforts. So for this week's episode, I wanted to talk about this subject. Specifically, what are the four essential things that, that create a perfect dental website? And to discuss this, I have a special guest, which is uh, Dan Brown. Now, you might remember Dan. He's been on a couple of episodes previously. We had him on episode nine where we went over marketing trends for 2022 and episode 12 where we uh, jumped into the subject of SEL. And to tell you a little bit about Dan, Dan is a senior consultant here at MGE. He's also one of our main seminar speakers. He's the primary seminar speaker at the MGE New Patient Workshop. He's also a partner at Bloomberg Digital, which is a digital marketing agency. And when it comes to dental marketing, Dan really knows this subject from tip to tail. He knows it backwards and forwards. And if we have any client who has any type of marketing difficulty, it's usually can we set an appointment with Dan. So I'm going to have Dan explain this to you guys. And these are going to be things you can put to immediate use. So Dan, I think you're all hooked up over there, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. All right. So look, without without delaying anything, what are the four elements of, of a, a perfect website? Yeah. So it's a good question. And listen, these are the broad strokes, right? Mm -hmm. There might be more things that somebody should consider, sure. but I'm going to cover these roughly. So um, I'm going to lay these out as pages. So okay. four pages and in the order that I would say one has to put attention on. Okay. So when you're saying pages like the home page or the page Correct. that about us page, Correct. And, got it. Okay, right. cool. So first one is the home page mm -hmm. because that's where everybody lands. Uh, you're going to have a home page and it's got to be a page that is exciting, but it is it has marketing elements, okay? A lot of people put a lot of focus on aesthetics. Okay. Uh, a lot of our clients come and say, well, you know, I really want you to look at the colors. Can you look at the font style? And while I think those things are, are good to have right and mm -hmm. to have an alignment with whatever your branding is and stuff, all that stuff is way, way, way low on the priority compared to the key marketing elements on a homepage. Okay. So right up at the top of a homepage, we, we call that, that area is super important. You generally have an image there. We call it the hero image. Okay. Because it is so important. All right. And when you get to a homepage, what I often see is this beautiful landscape photo or hopefully not, but I see this so often, stock photography. Okay. So guys throw all sorts of stock photography up there. Sometimes it has something to do with dental. Sometimes it's just a person smiling. And what should be there instead are key marketing elements. That's your most valuable real estate. Okay. So right up at the top, you should have your new patient special. All right. So I've got my hero image. Right. And then I've got my new patient special. Right. So the image should be there, but less focus on the image. Really? Yeah. Like give me, if you want to put a picture of you and your team, uh, you know, kind of faded out in the background, mm -hmm. that would be better than a dominant image. And then I have to scroll down to see information about the practice. Got it. I want to see the information about the practice. Like I'm visiting this site for the first time. I want to see what your new patient special is. Mm -hmm. And there should be a new patient special there. I know a lot of people are like, I don't know. I don't want to be bargain basement dentistry. Sure. But no, you, you know, new patient special should be there because if you're trying to attract more fee for service types mm -hmm. rather than insurance types, those individuals are looking for a new patient special. So right, right up at the top there. Second point I should, I, 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 well, can I stop there? Sorry. Yeah. I'm just, I try to think like a, a listener is going to think, right? Sure. And I might be completely off, right? Yeah. But so, because <clears throat> what you're saying is critical. So you're saying a new patient special, and I know that the whole, you know, some people have a, a thing on that or whatever, but what would be some examples of a new patient special? Good question. So uh, a lot of people try to do exam, cleaning, and x-ray for a certain amount of money. Sure. Uh, I say that's a heavy commitment mm -hmm. for somebody you don't know. Sure. And especially somebody who hasn't been in a dentist for a while, 
maybe they're not going to be eligible for that cleaning. Mm -hmm. So I often say, examine x-ray with an asterisk on it, you know, in fine print that says this is limited exam, right. single x-ray. Right. 49 bucks, mm -hmm. something like that. Got it. And our clients often say, "Forty, you know, that cost me a lot of money, that's time. And it is, it right. is. But at the same time, it's a person in the door. Yeah. So a $49 new patient special of exam and x-ray with the fine print. Mm -hmm. And it has to be in accordance with w your state laws as well. So, And does it have to be 49 bucks? I mean, I've no. seen people do 199 for a full mouth and an and a initial exam. And totally acceptable. And the whole asterisk data depends just as – I know it depends on the state they're in to a degree as far as what they – when they have to put the whole – that's something they just check in their dental practice Correct. act and it's easy. Canada is even right. different. Whole yeah. other thing. Yeah. Whole so, other thing. Yeah. But so, all right. So I've got my hero image. I have my new patient special. And that's the thing. So if I log into this homepage, that's the first thing I'm going to see. It's going to be a box Got and it. it's going to be big and okay. it's going to be flashy and it's going to be something that's going to grab my attention. It's dominant. It's not a little quiet whisper. Got it. It's, we have this. Mm -hmm. Then another box or call to action would be free second opinion. Okay. So this is, so I have an option as a new patient special. And then you used a term here and this is something, look, this is a term we use this term very frequently, but this is a term as a business owner you have to to know. So, and, and I'm sorry, Dan, I'm doing this, but like I want to make sure you have like gold in your brain here. I want to make sure these guys get this, right? Yeah. So call to action. Explain what you mean by a call to action. So call to action is the thing that motivates the reader or the visitor to now, okay, you've got my attention. Now what do I do? Got it. So when I click that button, it says request an appointment or got it. get information. It's telling me what to do. You got me. I'm interested. Mm -hmm. Boy, that is interesting. What's next? I click that. It takes me to a page. It tells me more information about it. It has a contact form. Got it. I can fill that out, et cetera. Call to action. Okay. So we've got the new patient special, and then we've got a second opinion. Free second opinion is a good one. And again, a lot of people say, I don't know, free this. I don't like free that. Well, mm -hmm. free is a powerful word yeah. in marketing. It's massively powerful. And if somebody has been to another practice and – they, they've been presented a treatment plan and they've walked out and have not, you know, accepted that treatment plan. They're 85, 95% there right. in the sales process. It's still with them. They, mm -hmm. they might not be with that other practice or that treatment plan presented by that practice, but they're still thinking about what was said by that practice. Right. So that person is very, very, very close to being uh, gotten the treatment they need to be fully healthy and rehabilitated. Got it. So again, call to action, click here, request an appointment, contact us, call to action. Got it. Okay, cool. Yep. Uh, another good thing to be right up in that hero area, mm -hmm. I have not scrolled. That's, that's our prime real estate. I have not yet scrolled. So I've opened my page and there it is. Bang. There it is. Okay. New patient special, free second opinion. Right up there is a good one is to have the element of a contact form. Okay looking for a new dentist, need help, this sort of a thing, and they can fill out their information right okay. at the top. So we're still on the one key element of the homepage right at the top. Right. As we move down this page, we want to introduce the practice a bit. Again, no stock imagery, mm -hmm. picture of the doctor, and it should be a, you know, an interesting family picture. And I don't mean the doctor's family. I mean culture mm -hmm. family. It's me and the team. It's us doing something fun. Okay. Even a bit goofy. And I'm not saying be unprofessional here. But I'm saying why you over a big corporate name? Got it. And people go to a family practice because of it's, it's friendly. It's, it's nice. There's this vibe in it mm -hmm. of it not – I'm not just a number here. I'm Got actually it. a friend of these people. So uh, imagery like that. A little bit about the doctor, but not a lot. I often see people go on for paragraphs and paragraphs. I was educated here. To, okay, I'm not here to find out about your education. I right. hope you're qualified, right? I mean, I would hope you're a dentist. I hope you went to school, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Let's get to it. A little bit of info. And then if I want to find out more, click here to read more. But just a little bit of info. You know, today, people would rather watch a two-minute video than read four or five paragraphs of text. Yeah, it's true. It's scary. Mm -hmm. But that's that's who we are as consumers today. We are very fast. Text needs to be big, mm -hmm. really big, not small and lots of it, mm -hmm. big and little, and then click here to read more. Got it. 
come down a little bit more right there on the homepage, before and after smiles. Okay, so sort of like uh, you call it a, a smile gallery. Yeah, and it's a link to the smile gallery beneath. But right here, there's two examples okay. of before and after photos. All right, so this isn't the actual smile gallery no. page. This is just a couple photos, boom, right there. Right on the homepage. Okay. Why, why are we coming in with some before and after photos? It's evidence that this practice knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. How do you say you're awesome without saying you're awesome? Right. And, and people are going to listen to other people about your practice rather than you. Mm -hmm. So this is you saying, hey, this is what I've done. And it's technically, it's your patience showing that you're capable of getting whatever result. And people say, well, you want two cases of before and after. Big photo before on the left, mm -hmm. big photo after on the right, and a little story beneath it, what was done. Mm -hmm. And people say, well, what two cases should I put up there? That was the question I was going to ask, yeah? It's a good question. Mm -hmm. And the answer to that question is, what do you want more of? Well, that's a good answer. Yeah. So you want more veneer cases, want more crowns, want more implants. That's what should be on there. Interesting. So before and after, two sets right up there and a big button either right above it or just beneath it or both. Mm -hmm. Click here to see more of our miracles. Okay. Or click here to see more smiles. Got it. Or click here to see our smile gallery. Mm -hmm. So a big button and it takes that individual, that visitor directly to the smile gallery and that is the second most important page. So element one is a, a homepage with the things we've just talked about. Mm -hmm. um, element two is a smile gallery. We'll get there in a second. But as we go down beneath the before and after smiles, mm -hmm. we would have a little bit more like, why are you here? Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a dental emergency? Um, are you looking to improve your smile? Each of these would be further buttons. Okay. And I could click there and go to the cosmetic page. I could click there and, you know, go, uh, you know, I'm looking to get my wisdom teeth removed. I have a chipped or cracked tooth. I see. Now, a lot of people put all the solutions right there, mm -hmm. you know, bonding, um, uh, endo, certain things that a lot of people just don't know what that means. Right. And rather than implant, it should be missing a tooth. I see. So you're, you're listing the questions, you know, why are you here? Do you have a broken tooth? Are you missing any teeth? So I can click that as like a link and that's going to take me to a page about implants. Services page. Got it. Or a services on page. On implants, right? Got it. Or a services page on cosmetic. Got it. Services. See, when, when you say bonding, mm -hmm. you and I know what that means, sure. as, as does every listener. But for most people, bonding is what you do with your son on Sundays, That's you know, true. and, and they don't understand these, these terms. And it used to be an old thing where it's called keyword stuffing, mm -hmm. where you take all these things you're trying oh, to rank yeah. for and you put all those terms there uh -huh. and you'll rank higher for, you know, implants. That's five-year-old, seven-year-old technology. Mm -hmm. Today, if you, you get caught keyword stuffing by Google, which you will, you will be caught mm -hmm. because they have spiders that creep your site and, you know, are reading this text. Sure. Uh, if they find that you're keyword stuffing, they'll penalize you. Whereas five or seven years ago, you would be ranking higher because all those keywords are on your right. homepage. Interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then down towards the bottom of the homepage is more about uh, the practice and the culture of the practice and specifically the culture of the practice. Like if you're involved in the community, if you're giving back, if you're mm -hmm. supporting this cause or that cause and keep those causes very generic and soft, meaning don't go into very hot topics. And sure. I think we all know what we're talking about. Certain topics you should stay away from. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's um, I think that's always been the rule. I think people are, it's definitely more polarized out there today as far as, you oh, know, definitely. yeah, it's, it's sort of like we've all become soccer hooligans from uh, the UK, <laughs> you know, right. Right. but uh, yeah, I agree with that. I think it, well, I think what it does, and we, we say that when we're talking to clients like MGE is a religious, a political, because you're here for dental practice management help. You're not here for me to talk to you about this or that or whatever. Everybody has their own viewpoints, but why are you here? That's right. I'm going to the dentist to get my teeth worked on, not to find out what they think of this politician or that That's one. That's right. So, yeah. you know, uh, don't make your patients choose because of one of those issues. Yeah. So go soft on those things, but, but talk loudly mm -hmm. about the things. If you've got community recognitions, if you were voted one of the best places to work, right. if you're involved in this, that, or other cause, these are things that are very, very important. And I would absolutely brag about it because it's somebody talking about you. Right. We call that social proof. Okay. 
other people talking about you instead of you talking about you. Sure. Very, very important. It means so much more than what you would ever say about yourself. Mm -hmm. So social proof includes reviews. Mm -hmm. So this is a time to caption some of your awesome, awesome reviews and put them right on that page. So you would caption them from Google or Google, Facebook. Facebook and Facebook, do, yeah, you, yeah. do you do a link or do you just take the text? Just take the text and then put the you know proper branding of it. So you know that's a Google review. That's a Yelp review. I see. If you're in a Yelp area, which is any metropolitan area, you're gonna want, people are gonna want to see Yelp reviews. Sure. So put that on there, and um, Facebook, of course, and lots of reviews. And if you've ever gotten any awards, like Best Cosmetic Dentist or right. Invisalign Gold Provider or these sort of things, this is where you talk about that. It's again social proof. People sure. talking about you instead of you talking about you. And then beneath that, testimonial videos. Okay, so now. Just because I'm thinking, this is cool. Walk me down the page again. So, so far we've got that hero area. Hero area at the top, which is the key calls to action. New patient special, free second opinion, contact form. Okay. And then below that I have... Maybe a little bit about the office, the doc. And I can click to read more. So click it's a small more. paragraph. Yep. And then below that I have... Two sample before and after smiles. With a link to the smile gallery link page, smile gallery. which you're going to talk about. Yep. And then below that I have... Probably right there is, and this is up to you at this point, but this is a little bit like, why are you here? Got it. Like, are you missing teeth? Are you this? And those are links to those services pages. That's right. And then below that. Then we start bringing in the social proof. Got it. This and, is, I'm a member of this. I'm supporting America's Tooth Fairy and helping kids. That's and, right. Are, your, you know, reviews are a big deal. So this is a great place to caption reviews, little snippet testimonials in writing. Some of them sometimes slide and, and. That's your patients talking about you and community recognitions, awards. Got it. And then video testimonials. Okay. And that, okay. So this is a cool page. I'm seeing like I could go to this page and truthfully, I might just get closed, so to speak, to call your office, make an appointment. Now I haven't even looked at any other pages. No yet. other page. I've just looked at this homepage and yeah, I'm going to check this office out. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Sampling so truly is a sampling of every other page. It's a bit of, it's a bit of each of your other pages. Right all on the homepage, um, grouped by priority at the top. Got it. Okay, so now testimonial videos. Yeah. Now, um, I don't know if that's something, I know this is more of a conversational podcast. Is that something that's a whole podcast subject in and of itself or yeah. it is? Yeah. Now, you did make a video for our channel on this, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. On our YouTube channel. Yeah. But we will be coming back to you soon with Dan in a few weeks. Uh, not we're, we're not done with this episode yet, but we'll talk about this as far as how to make a great patient video. Yeah, and for now, what I think people should do is pull out your phone and record whatever somebody has to say nicely about you. Okay. I don't care what form it is. I just if even if it's imperfect and and the phone's wobbling, and shaky, totally acceptable. Right. This is not a big corporate. People know that and they like that about the right. practice. So I find lots of people get oversensitive to the quality and it needs to be this and I need to get a pro shoot team in. No, 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 no. Mm. Pull out your phone and and record what somebody has to say. Well, some of these phones, like the new iPhone 13, it's amazing. I'm, I'm like an Apple commercial here, but <laughs> it, it is great. And and same with the, the Android stuff. You got a phone in the last couple of years, you got it, everything you need. Right, that's yeah. true. And now last question about this with the videos, because I know I've been asked this before too. So they, they need to have the patient sign something, right? Yeah, so uh, for the U.S., it's it's a HIPAA waiver specifically for marketing purposes. Okay. Um, in Canada, it's not called HIPAA, but it's um, actually just as stringent. Actually, it's more stringent. So, right. So, um, and we have one that we we give our MG clients. You know what we can do, mm -hmm. um, if you don't mind. I'll put it's a sample waiver. You still, just to be clear, you are fully responsible for this. You have to check it with your attorney because state laws differ. But we can put this sample up. It's a, not a bad place to start. Sure. We can put it up as a download on the episode it's webpage, idea, yeah. and they can download it and check it out. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Wow. Okay, so that's the homepage. That's homepage. All right, so now that's 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 point number one. Key element number one. Okay, so now what's number two? Number two is the second most important page in a dental website, which is the Smiles Gallery. Okay. And the Smiles Gallery, people say it's the second most important? Yeah, it is because it's, again, social proof. It's you saying how awesome you are without you saying how awesome you are. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there's great examples of this. Um, Mathis and Dentistry have worked a lot with them. They're one of our top clients here mm -hmm. at MGE. Um, they're in Queen Creek, Arizona. You can check out their smile gallery. Really, really done well. Right. They wanted more implants. So uh, they did a smile gallery that really focused on what they've done for people on, you know, on that subject. Mm -hmm. And they put a bunch of cases in there. And that practice has done extremely well. 
based off of that. Interesting. So look at that format and go visit them if you want to. Um, the format is a big before photo on the left, mm -hmm. a big after photo on the right. Okay. Some of these websites, companies, they, they, they want to do a slider. A slider is it's one image and you draw this bar uh, uh, yeah. to the right and to the left. And it, from a technology and, and kind of a nerdy, and I'm a bit of a technology nerd, I like it. It's kind of cool, but I surveyed about 90% of the people don't understand how to use it, don't know that there's a second image there, and you can't see both <laughs> images side by side. I know. I know. It's, it's horrible. So, so big before photo on the left. Don't go small here. Go big. Okay. The width of the page is the before and after. Okay. And at the top, maybe a title of it, either the patient's name, if they're comfortable with it, or what was done. You mm -hmm. know, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, here's a all on for procedure. Be, mm -hmm. be wary of what you say. Like even that is pushing it as far as dental terminology. Yeah. All on four, all on six or yeah. yeah. All right. So it might be the patient's name or initials, what was done. We replaced five teeth with implants, blah, blah, blah. And that, what you just said, it, it, beneath that is very important. Okay. It's an, that's the opportunity to educate. So somebody sees that, they go, oh my gosh, look at that before. Look at that result after. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. What did they do? Right. And they look beneath there and in non-dental speak, you know, this patient came in and was, hasn't eaten an apple for 15 years. Mm-hmm wasn't happy with their smile, wanted a solution that was permanent. They were tired of dentures. They got a fixed denture supported by implants. And uh, boy, look at this smile now. We're right. not surprised to see that beard gone with a beautiful smile like this. Congratulations, John. That's cool. It's feel good. Sure. It's feel good. And that's family dentistry. So tell a little story. Don't just say, and never say, you know, this patient got veneers on teeth six through 12, you know, nobody understands that. Right. Nobody understands teeth numbers. Yeah, they might not understand veneers, but you could say dental veneers. And you could even take that and, and make that a link within your page. Click dental veneers. You know, people recognize a link. So when, sure. you, when you say dental veneers and you put a link there, it links to your dental veneers page. Or where you explain veneers. Where you explain veneers, yeah. And then if I have, let's say I haven't done this smile gallery thing yet, but I really want to. Sure. And, uh, you know, I'm looking, maybe I'm not doing humongoid cases all the time. Sure. And it might take me, I don't know, a month or two to get four photos. You know, I, how, how long before I, can I start the small gallery, two photos or three photos or four photos? Absolutely. You okay. can start with one set. All right. So, Fine. so, and, and truth be told, some individuals have, and you can get stock photography for an example of whitening. Sure. Cause even if you don't do implants, you could do whitening, you could do straightening if you sure. do Invisalign or traditional ortho, uh, crowns, these sort of things. You can use representative photography, but you, you are going to have to reference and put a little asterisk there right. and say, this is representative of the work. We're doing. So you're going to want to change that as quickly and as possible. And you change that out, Got but it. it's so important. And, and that does give people an idea of what, what can be done. You just have to make sure that you have the integrity to say, yeah, I, that's that work. I can achieve that work. Sure. And I haven't found a dentist who hasn't been able to find stock photography that they could not do. If they haven't been taking photos. Correct. But then this tells you to take photos. Take the photos. It'll take, yeah. like you say, a month or two. Yeah, that's true. All right. So that's, that's only number two. This is cool. This is cool. We're only at number two. Number two. And this is a lot, but this is good stuff. Yeah. All right. Uh, on that page, the last thing I'll say is, is having calls to action there. Okay. Is important. So sprinkle those in, you know, click here uh, or call us for a free implant consultation. Okay. Call us if you would like to get an Invisalign scan and representative results of what your mouth could look like. Interesting. These different things that different practices offer. Would that be, so I've got my smile gallery and let's say I've kind of weighted my implant stuff towards the top because I want more implants, right? right? So I have four implant cases, boom, 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 boom. Correct. Where would you put that call to action or link? Would that be after each case or would that be after the four or maybe? Yeah, maybe you do four cases of implants and then you put that there. Got it. And then you do some Invisalign and, you know, ortho and then do another one there. Got it. And that, not overly commercial here. This okay. This is just a quick, you know, you got somebody's interest. You've piqued their interest. Right. So. Okay, cool. All yeah. right. Awesome. So that's number two. The third most important page of a website is actually the About Us page. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. And people go there because they want to meet the practice. Mm -hmm. And I don't just mean the doctor. They want to meet the practice virtually. They're not 
they're not decided yet to pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. They could be, they could just move there and it's 930 at night. They're not going to pick up the phone and talk to anybody at that hour. But even if it wasn't 930 at night, they're still not ready to pick up the phone and talk to anybody yet. This is interesting. So we're walking through, everybody's going to hit the homepage. And if you roll it the way that you're laying it out, this kind of draws them down the page. Then most likely I'm going to end up on the smile gallery next. Right. And then, so then I guess the next place a person is most likely to go if I haven't gone to services pages from the small gallery is who are these people? Who are these people? Yeah. Interesting. And, and often what I say, <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, every dental website of everybody who comes to a new patient workshop, because, you know, we review sites right on the workshop. Sure. And by the way, we'll have a link if you want to know more about the new patient workshop on the episode webpage. Yeah. We make it very, very interactive. So people say, can you look at my website? Of course. Sure. So we look at their website, every about us pages seven paragraphs of where the doctor went to school, right. advanced, you know, uh, continuing education, all sorts of initials, dental speak. And, um, you know, wake me up when you're done. Type stuff. <laughs> when you're from the consumer's eyes, right? Sure. From the consumer's eyes. Sure. It's like, congratulations, you know, mm -hmm. good if you're talking to another dentist. <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> but not for the consumer. What sure. does a consumer want to see? And, you know, it's kind of a stiff photo, a real professional. I have no problem with a real professional shot. Mm -hmm. But show me a real professional shot and then show me a picture of, of you and your family if you're comfortable with it. Sure. If you're not comfortable with it, don't put your family up there. But – um, and then show me some photos of the team mm -hmm. and show me, you know, you in your office and you with a patient with your arm around the patient and mm -hmm. show me, you know, high five and your staff member and show me your employee of the month and show right. me your, your staff down at, you know, downtown with the, you know, this community project to, right. you know, pick up trash, this kind of stuff that people go, Oh, wait a minute. Look at these guys. This is, this is pretty cool. This would be a good place to have a practice video. Mm -hmm. If you have a practice video. And what, like when you say practice video, what, what's in my practice video? Practice video is kind of a virtual walkthrough of the place. Got it. Hopefully it is not a literal walkthrough. This is my sterilizer. <laughs> and this is operatory number two. I've seen that. I've seen it. Um, but it's, you know, it's an overview, a little doctor interview. This is who we are. Mm -hmm. Hygienist talking, assistant talking. I love working here. Patient testimonial. You, you can get these things done. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So that's the about us. And, and on the About Us page, uh, a really well done About Us page that people can't believe when they first see it. But when they're looking at this site from the consumer's eyes, they go, oh my gosh, I get it now, is uh, Salvatore Dental. Okay. In Malta. New this York. is Rich and Vera Salvatore. These are clients That's of right. ours in New York. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Boston Spa, up, up near Albany. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked with them a lot on their website. And go to their uh, Meet Our Team mm -hmm. page. And you'll see a professional shot mm -hmm. and then a hobby shot. Got it. And a professional shot of Vera and a hobby shot of her playing tennis. So like humanizes everybody. It totally humanizes everybody. Got it. And that's the assistant, you know, like one of their associates, um, Dr. Lena, you know, is a shot of her and her professional, you know, the lab coat. And then her holding her medal uh, as a third degree black belt. Oh, wow. And when I say that, people go, oh my gosh. And they see that and they see her, you know, she's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. People love that. Yeah. And what, and at the about section on each staff member and each person there is what's their favorite food? Where were they born? Interesting. Um, what's something somebody doesn't know about you? Mm -hmm. And nothing about their education. Interesting. Well, because you're kind of assuming if someone's an RDH, Let's the hope. fact that they went to Southern Illinois University's yeah. hygiene, so what? From a consumer's perspective, so what? Yeah. I mean, it's, obviously, it's important that they did from a licensing perspective, but that's why they have a license. But that's why they have a yeah. license. Yeah, interesting. So, uh, and then when you go down on their page, you'll see community involvement shots, sure. um, a little bit about their practice, practice photo. You know, it's, you really feel like you've walked in the place without having walked in. So the you place. kind of gotten to know them a little bit. Exactly. Interesting. Okay. That's cool. Fourth and final mm -hmm. our services page. And I say it as a fourth, but it's truly in a service page as a service page is this is what we do uh, and we want more of. So implants, cosmetic dentistry. Now, are these separate pages? They are separate pages. So it would be, let's say the, the website address is abcdental.com. I'm sure there's somebody who has ABC Dental. If you do, I, I'm sorry. Let's say it's abcdental.com backslash implants yeah. is how it would be. It would be, um, uh, it would be slash, uh, services slash implants. Got it. Okay. So it's services and these are the pages 
kind Correct. of coming off of that, which I guess also helps from searching for these types Correct. of services, right? Correct. Okay. So the ser- the general services page are all the services that you okay. have. And even if you're a restorative practice and you don't do advanced, you know, this or that, um, you do a lot. You do whitening. Sure. You, you do crowns. You do uh, extractions. Right. Uh, you do emergencies. And so that would be your general services page. And then you'd have specific services page uh, for each service you want more of. And then the general page would link to the other pages as well, I Correct. assume, right? Okay. Correct. And then what would be on, like, let's take, uh, I mean, people are often looking for more implants or cosmetic cases, right? Right. So if we took an implant page or a cosmetic page, what would be the components on there that you would want to see? So again, think with the fact that consumers today, they don't want to read. Mm-hmm. They want to read when they're warmed up. Sure. Okay. So if you want to go thick on text, that's at the very bottom of the page. Okay. So I, I, I'm now interested and I really want to know more about this specific procedure. That day, that content is available, but it's towards the bottom. Mm-hmm. At the top, lots of images, photos, before and after, a testimonial, um, a review excerpt, um, a little bit of text about that service. Okay. So I had four teeth replaced by Dr. So-and-so. It was the best thing I ever did. I can eat now. That sort of a thing. I was scared of the dentist. I was overly, you know, concerned about um, my next dental appointment. And I say that now because I've been to these guys and I, I didn't even know that they had started the procedure when they told me they were done. Wow. Okay. That kind of stuff. Okay. And again, you're talking to a consumer who is, you know, they're just like, you know, there's a few freaks out there, but just about everybody is afraid and doesn't like drills and needles, mm-hmm. you know? And uh, so think about that target public. Got You're it. talking to a person, especially on a cosmetic or implant case, when it's, it's a 12, 15, 25, 35, 65,000 dollar case. Yeah. At this point, man, you better be showing me some testimonial videos. You better be talking to me about this stuff. <laughs> so the more uh, that the service is involved and the higher ticket that service might be, mm-hmm. the more content that is testimonial, social proof, examples, pictures. Don't go dental speak on me. Make it very simple. I, I really like Rich and Vera's uh, services page on implants where he does uh, an infographic on how do I get an implant? What is a process? An infographic is a, a pictorial representation of the seven steps right. to go through the implant process. And I know he made educational videos for patients about implants that's that right. he was trying to explain what implants were. Are those, are those videos on and that page too? they're all on that page. So, so f- what's an implant? What's an implant? Got and it. he shows it. And you, so while you're getting that message, you're mm-hmm. also meeting Rich. Right. And that has as much power as a content, mm-hmm. you know? And and say I come in and I, I'm, okay, good, I'm ready to go. But I got to go tell my wife and explain that to her. Well, I can go home and say, this is the doctor. Interesting. Yeah, it that that, it does increase someone's um, like they feel they know them almost as opposed to just some nameless, faceless whomever. Yeah, Yeah, you're building that familiarity, which is a necessary thing in dentistry. It's a necessary thing in any business, and you're that that is what makes this practice a family dentistry practice as opposed to a corporate or chain or just you know a, a practice that just doesn't care. Right. Interesting. Well, wow. Okay, this is really cool. I, I really, really like this. So now, let's say I've listened to this. I'm, I'm one of the listeners, and I've, I've listened. You're out there. You've listened to Dan talk about these things. What would you tell them now that they want to start fixing something? So they just call their web developer and start, or that's a start. Okay. Uh, what? And the reason why I cover this far more in depth than the new patient workshop is because web developers sometimes I find two main categories. Okay. They're one. They're stuck in. Uh, a model. Sure. And that's the model that they're comfortable with. And that model might have worked at one time, but things have changed. You got to, right. you know, marketing changes all the time. I know, either it's super, super, you got to stand top of stuff. And you either move with it or you get left behind. Sure. And that applies to web developers. And there's a lot of companies out there that do quote unquote d- great dental websites and they're just pumping out the same site over and over. Right. They're not going to, listen to this. I've, I know because I've worked with them. I've worked with probably close to a hundred companies. Wow. And I know three or four of them that take this instruction. Mm-hmm. So you've got to be the person directing that developer. And if they're not willing to take direction, then it's time to find a new developer. Okay. So you can make your list, go through this thing a couple of times, pause it, make your notes, uh, you know, and then give that list to the developer. 
check it and make sure that it fits and, and checks the boxes here uh, before you sign it off. You might have to pay a couple bucks. To sure, do that. of course. It's relatively cheap. Um, so, so there's the person that doesn't know or is resistant, the developer. And then there's the, the developer that is more centered around aesthetics. Like how it looks. How it looks. You know, and, and I'm sorry, that, that, that was cool back in 95, 99, 2000s, but, you know, not today. Today, mm-hmm. your website needs to be fast. And it, I need to be able to browse it very, very quickly. It's right. called skimming. Mm-hmm. Today, we're skimmers. Think yeah. about it. As a it's consumer, true. you're listening right now. Do you skim? When you go onto a website, do you read it word for word or do you skim and go through it really quickly? So I should just omit every third word while I'm talking. And uh, no. Almost. <laughs> almost. You know, they'll, but they'll, they'll watch a video. They'll listen to a podcast. Yeah, I know. We've all become this way. We have, we've all yeah, become true. this way. That's true. Yeah. And then as far as – so those are the things I can do to, to get it going. But I guess here's, here's the big question. So let's say you've worked with a lot of people on this. Yeah. What, are, what are some of the results you've seen from when somebody goes from your informational type site, you know, which is you know, a pretty site where it says where the doctor went to school, to a marketing type site like you're talking about? What, what type of changes are you seeing in number of new patients? So m- massive – Massive. Um, we call that a conversion. When somebody stays on a website mm-hmm. and then contacts the practice, yeah, uh, we call that a conversion. Mm-hmm. And kind of a step before that is what's called a bounce. And a bounce is when somebody comes to a, a website or a web page and then leaves that web page. Right. Uh, not so much just the page, but that website. If they come to that website and they leave, and it's going to happen. Got it. Bounces happen. Mm-hmm. But you have a bounce rate. Your website is is rated on a bounce rate. And if you have people coming there and leaving in a certain period of time, which is pretty fast, mm-hmm. uh, it's within, you know, it's less than 30 seconds. Uh, if I tell people what it is, they generally, they go kind of apathetic and they don't, they don't want to, you know, they don't think that they can win in this game, but the bounce can, anything under 10 seconds is going to hurt your, your score on the bounce rate. Interesting. So if I go to uh, someone's website, if you're listening out there, I go to your website, I stay there less than 10 seconds and I leave that it hurts a client's or a, a, uh, not a client's, uh, a doctor's website's score. In Google. So yes. will it feature it lower in the search results Correct. at that? Okay. Cause what that means is consumers are going, not finding what they want and bouncing and getting out. That's right. And Got it's, it. and, and, and Google's there to make sure that they scratch the itch of mm-hmm. their browsers. They Got don't it. care about you. They care about their browsers. Yeah, the customer. Yeah. Got so, it. so if people go in there and they're leaving uh, quicker than what Google feels, mm-hmm. then they lower you on your search engine results. So this, this this handles new patients from a lot of different ways, not just converting the people who are wa- looking at it, but also it improves my search engine optimization Correct. if I'm staying on a site longer. Correct. Interesting. So you're always going to have bounces, but there's a bounce rate, which is you want to be, you know, a, a lower bounce rate than, and so when people get this thing sorted out, their bounce rate improves and their conversion where people actually call improves. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's that's when they're day. seeing 20, 30 more new patients a month that's because right. of what happened. That's Interesting. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now, all right. So. If you're out there listening and you want to fix your site, and this is Dan, I, we, we talked about this before. So are you okay? I, I'd like to give your email address out if people want to contact 100%, you directly. Because you know, if I'm listening to this and I'm cranking and I'm producing in the office, I'm going to want to fix it, but I'm probably going to want somebody to sort of walk me through it. I mean, they can come to the new, you can come to the new patient workshop, which we have the link and you can see Dan in person, or they can email you and call you. It's Dan. B. B at mgeonline.com. We'll also put that on the episode webpage yeah. and you can look at what they have going on and kind of give them a few pointers. Yeah. And you know, if you're getting your site revised and upgraded before you sign off on it, just yeah. shoot that link to me. Got it. Let me check it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, Dan, this is awesome. Extremely informative. And, uh, you know, folks, I hope you, hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed interviewing. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it a ton. Yeah. And if, so if you liked what uh, you heard on this episode, you'd like to hear more like it, don't forget to uh, subscribe or follow us based on the podcast platform you're listening to us on. If you want more M- information about MGE, we have a link to the new patient workshop as well as that download Dan had talked about on the uh, episode webpage. But you can also visit us at uh, mgeonline.com or call us at 800-640-1140. So folks, that's all we have for you this week. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you at next week's episode.